Hello everyone, welcome to the video of today. This is Beyond the Truth. Today we are going to be talking about Schrodinger's cat. In the last decades, we have heard the phrase Schrodinger's cat in so many movies and TV shows. It is like writers find some theory and agree to use it en masse. Same as in the previous decade, we heard about the Occam's razor in all possible shows and movies. But today's video is on the cat, so let's get into it. And let me tell you why it pisses me off. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment, sometimes described as a paradox, devised by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1935. He was one of the leading scientists of his time. He came up with this experiment to try to explain quantum physics to the masses, to make it understandable. So they think, yes I say think, because that is what theories are. Every time that you are citing a theory, you are just citing what someone thinks, not actual proof. So I think that atoms, protons, or neutrons, etc. can be in multiple states at the same time, but when they are observed, they are only in one state. Even if that turns out to be the case, drawing parallels with real life objects or animals, in this case, is just silly. Cats cannot be in multiple states at the same time. They can be either dead or alive. It has absolutely no bearing if you are watching them or not. It is not just this thought experiment I have a problem with. All such thought experiments like, all of you remember the old one, if a tree falls down in a forest and if there is nobody to hear, does it make sound? Of course it makes a sound. People hearing it or seeing it has no influence of the sound. Even Einstein's thought experiments are flawed. You have all heard the ones about time relativity, like time runs slowly when you are sitting in a hot oven and fast when you are talking to a beautiful woman. These break the first principle of experimentation. In the fifth grade, my science teacher taught us that when you are conducting an experiment, actual or a thought one, you are isolated from the experiment, you are only observing, you are in creator mode. You do not put yourself in the middle of the experiment as, as Einstein does. Meaning, if you are conducting the experiment properly, you will have two isolated systems. You will put one guy to sit on a hot oven, and you will put another guy to talk to with a beautiful woman, and you will observe. And guess what? From your perspective, time flows normally. What is different between the two is the perception of time as seen by the guys in the experiment. Time does not flow slow or fast. They just perceive it like that, depending on outside stimulus. We all have a notion of the great scientists from the last 200 years and we keep studying their theories, and it is not allowed to question anything, while most of those are just things that people thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if it was like that? Take wormholes for example. All that that is, is theory. Wouldn't it be cool if these were tunnels that run through space and we could travel to them to stars? Not based on anything. This turned into a kind of a rant and took many detours, but please, don't use any of those silly thought experiments in real life. And never say, remember Schrodinger's cat? Thanks for listening guys, tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time.